What's going on, friends? When it comes to oil sumping in a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, this is absolutely nothing new. Now, this has really been made famous by the Milwaukee 8 and a lot of the issues that have, they've had with sumping, but the truth is, oil sumping's gone on for a long time in Harley-Davidson motorcycles, and any Harley-Davidson engine of the 45-degree V-twin variety is susceptible to it. Harley-Davidson engines have what is known as a dry sump system, meaning that the crankcase is supposed to say dry and the oil is actually stored remotely in the oil tank. Now, other motorcycles have a wet sump system, which is what you don't want on a Harley-Davidson, where the oil is actually stored in the crankcase itself. Your Harley-Davidson engine should not turn into a wet sump system. If your Harley engine is turning into a wet sump system, then you've got some real issues going on. It could be one problem, it could be a multitude of problems that are causing the bike to start to sump. But either way, the faster you can recognize what's going on, the faster you can get it fixed and prevent even further engine damage if you haven't had any already. Guys, please don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, as I mentioned, there are several different things that can cause your bike to start wet sumping. And there's also several different ways that you can actually recognize the signs of it and actually kind of check for yourself to see what's going on. Now, if you let the bike sit for an extended period of time or sometimes even overnight, it is perfectly normal for some oil from the oil tank to actually drain down into the sump. That's perfectly normal. But when you start the bike, the oil pump should scavenge all of that oil out of that sump back up into the oil tank, at least for the most part. That fact right there is the reason why Harley-Davidson stresses that the only way to get a good, accurate oil reading when you're checking the oil is to do it with the bike hot. Preferably, you want to run the motorcycle, get that oil up to temperature, and then come back, shut it off, and immediately check the oil while a majority of that oil is actually in the tank. It is at that moment that you've basically got what should be in the tank and what should be left in the sump. There'll always be a little bit left in the sump, but when you start drowning the crank in the sump, that's when you have a problem. The other thing when it comes to a Harley-Davidson's oil system is you definitely do not want to overfill these bikes. When you overfill a Harley-Davidson with oil, you really upset that balance between crankcase ventilation and oil scavenging. Now, when you overfill your Harley-Davidson with oil, you can start to see one of two things. One, if you have the head breathers and you're still running that back through your throttle body or carburetor, the oil can actually start puking out of the air cleaner. Even worse, if you have an external breather, oil can start making its way down to that external breather, and then once it soaks that filter, it can actually start dripping out onto the ground. This is why it's highly recommended that you do not run your external vent for your crankcase directly in front of your rear tire, just in case something like that were to happen. But overfilling the bike, you can also end up drowning the crankshaft because it got too much oil in the bike. The oil tank's only going to hold so much oil. Oil pump's trying to scavenge all that oil out of the sump back up into the oil tank. It's not going to, so and basically you have too much oil left over in the sump and you end up drowning your crankshaft. Now one of the most noticeable signs of sumping is when you're trying to accelerate with the motorcycle. It feels like the power should be there. It literally feels like you're hauling this big, heavy, invisible trailer that doesn't exist. There's no trailer behind you, but it sure feels like you're hauling a car up a hill. Now, another good sign that you're having a sumping issue is if the bike is extremely hard to start when it's hot. Because you got to think, you're trying to force those pistons down into a big old pool of oil. And once again, oil is not really going to compress, so it's got to go somewhere. Hopefully that somewhere is not being pushed past the rings. Then when it finally does start, you get a big smoke show. Now, another good way to check if your bike is having a sumping issue is while you're out riding, each time you stop, go ahead and pull your dipstick and check your oil level. Your oil level, when you shut the bike off, should remain fairly consistent. Now, if you leave out and you get to one stop and you check it, you kind of get your base mark of where your oil's at. Okay, I'm good. You take off, you go ride some more, you stop, you check your oil, and all of a sudden it's down a little bit more. You go to your third stop after riding some more, and then all of a sudden the oil level's back up to normal where it should be. This is a surefire sign that you might be having some sumping issues going on 
which meaning that oil that should be in the oil tank is getting left over down in the sump of the engine where it should not be. Along with hard starting, disappearing, reappearing oil, you may also notice a huge drop in fuel economy. If your fuel economy is just suffering dramatically and you're noticing some of these other signs and symptoms in conjunction with that, you might seriously have an issue going on there. So now we know some of the signs and symptoms of sumping and ways to kind of check, but what actually causes sumping? Well, before we get into what actually causes sumping, we got to do a little word from today's video sponsor, Ansel. Wouldn't it be great if you could perform maintenance and reset services on your cars and trucks without having to go to a shop or spend thousands of dollars on a scan tool? You can without sacrificing quality with the Ansel FX9000. This unit has a full 7 inch color display with Wi Fi connectivity and auto ID VIN number identification. With the Ansel FX9000, you can perform 26 maintenance functions, including ABS bleeding, oil life monitor reset, DPF regeneration, steering angle sensor calibration, just to name a few, as well as a full OBD2 test modes. The FX9000 scans your entire vehicle from the ECM, the TCM, ABS, SRS, BCM, and gives you a full detailed list of every code in the vehicle. I've been using the FX9000 to diagnose an airbag light that has absolutely plagued my truck for years now. With the FX9000, I was able to locate the code and have a direction to go in for further diagnosis. Ansel also offers 24-7 technical support, hassle-free warranty, lifetime customer support, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check out the links in the video description for a discount code and get your Ansel FX9000. So what are the causes of oil sumping on a Harley? There are several causes of it. It can be one or you can check that box for all of the above. For starters, excessive crank runout. Excessive crank runout can absolutely trash oil pumps, which basically leads to having a faulty oil pump. You have a faulty oil pump, it's not scavenging oil properly, oil gets left behind in the sump. Now, obviously the oil pump issue was made famous by the Milwaukee Eights. Now, if your bike has excessive crank run out, pretty much anything five thousandths or above, I know even five thousandths is still high, but for a Harley, generally you're still okay at about five thousandths with the oil pump. But you get above that, and then with the oil pump being run out by that crank, basically tearing up the oil pump, you really start to lose that balance of the scavenging that Harley-Davidson's are really dependent on. Another cause of oil sumping can be the piston oil jets. If the gaskets are leaking, if they're actually loose, if the check balls fail in these things, these can actually dump oil back down into the crankcase and pretty much just flat out overwhelm the oil pump and it just can't scavenge that oil back to the tank and keep that flow and that balance through the engine going the way it should. Another cause of something is improper ring seal. If you have a bike that's got a lot of miles on it, and we all know that that ring seal just ain't quite what it used to be when it came from the factory or you first built the bike. Or even worse, if you got a bike that never had proper ring seal to begin with, it'll really create too much crankcase pressure, and that's when you can start seeing that sumping issue. That's been a lot of the issue with the Milwaukee 8, is basically rings, the oil pump, and too much crank pressure. And guys, crank pressure just isn't a Milwaukee 8 issue. This can happen to a twin cam or a Sportster engine as well. So while the Milwaukee 8 really brought the sumping issue to life, like I said, bear in mind, this can happen on a twin cam or a Sportster. Just depends on the mileage, condition of the engine, and what's going on there. Some things with sumping are within our control, and other things, well, they're just mechanical and out of our control because we can't exactly tear down an engine to make sure everything's tight and then put it back together. That's just not part of normal maintenance unless there's a reason to get in there. So guys, now that we know the signs and symptoms, just be on the lookout for them. If you start to notice any of these signs or symptoms, it's probably time to go ahead and get your bike tore down and figure out what's going on before you cause some major damage. Something can be absolutely catastrophic for a Harley Davidson engine. But anyhow guys, that's all I've got for you this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But until next week guys, you enjoy the 4th of July weekend. Stay safe, dodge those cars, ride smart, and I'll catch you guys back here next Friday with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.